Speaking of terrible things, does anybody here play online video games? A round of applause. Awesome. All right. And how many of you are single? All of you. And here's why. Here's why. Because if you're in a relationship, the last thing you want is another high-pitched, shrill voice in your ear telling you you're terrible. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Um, and that's all it is, online video games. It's just like 13-year-old kids just berating you. That's the whole internet, actually. Um, and when I was in a relationship and I played video games, I always felt like my girlfriend had more in common with those guys that I was playing video games with. Like, like, oh, you think I'm a loser and my mom's a bitch? Hey, honey, you should come down here and talk to Pussy Wrecker 99. You guys sound like you'd have a lot to talk about. Um, and it's insane. Uh, the guys who play have one thing they do really, really well. And that, and it's, they do it so well that it's almost commendable, though it's disgusting. And it is being creatively racist. It's insane. I had a guy call the other day call me a muck. And for those of you who don't know, I didn't either. And I think if you call somebody a racial slur so esoteric that he has to Google it, I borders on art, my friends. And for those of you wondering, I would like to apologize to any Inuit members of the audience for using such a disgusting and deplorable term. Uh, but it's just, that's really like some, some real like, S-class, like, next-level xenophobic fuckery to make a grown man. Like, I am nearly 30 years old, and the words of a 13-year-old can make me just instantly, once again, become like a 14-year-old freshman in high school in the back of the bus, first day with my headgear, and I just want the popular kids to let me play Magic the Gathering by myself. Like, no one told me after I left high school that I would continue to have 14-year-olds make me feel insecure. I didn't realize that was a thing that would keep going.